How you doing? This is Steven from TheCryptoist.com, otherwise known as Hash Guide. And in this video, we're going to go over how we can verify our smart contracts on the Binance Smart Chain after we have deployed them using Truffle uh, Smart Contract Manager man, software. Alright, so the way we're going to do it is we're going to obtain our constructor arguments, our ABI encoded constructor arguments, by getting our ABI... And importing it into this website with the constructor arguments um, that we use in our contract and it's gonna spit out the correct constructor arguments uh, ABI encoded that we need so after you are done deploying uh, and you want to verify a contract and you use truffle to build and deploy your contracts to whatever network this can be done on whatever network but this example is going to be in Binance Smart Chain. So the first thing we're going to do is going to connect our Truffle console to the network that we use and we're going to put our contract into a variable and um, we're going to obtain the ABI but we need to obtain the ABI in JSON uh, format because that's what the website uses. The website that we're going to use is abi.hashx.org and what you do is you paste the ABI in here uh, it's going to be JSON encoded and it parse it and it's going to give you construct arguments or you can add them um, add the parameters manually but uh, if you get the JSON it's real quick and there's no you know user errors and then we got to enter our token name and all that and you, you'll see so let's get to it uh, before we jump into it though please make sure you know, I do this in my spare time to, to help you guys. Uh, the best thing that you guys can do to help me is hit that subscribe button right now, uh, either below or above, depending on mobile or PC. Uh, if you hit that subscribe button, and please share my channel with anyone uh, crypto-related or not, because if they're not using crypto today, they will be crypt using crypto and Bitcoin and such very, very shortly in their lifetime. All right, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, leave a comment. Let me know what I can improve on. Let me know if you have any requests. And like I said, if you can share this to any social media outlet that you use, any community that you talk to, anything like that, uh, anyone asking questions about something, send them my way to my YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash hash guide or thecryptos.com, which I'm a little behind on making posts right now, but I'm doing my best. Alright, so let's get into it. I'm going to use a terminal that's integrated into VS Code. Uh, if you go up here, go terminal, new terminal, and it shows up down here at the bottom. Okay, so we want to go to Truffle Console Network BSC Testnet. Uh, we get whatever you have in your Truffle config file. Mine is BSC Testnet, so Truffle Console. Give that a second. Equals await. Uh, mine is the cryptoist to coin dot deployed. So now what we want to do is if we type token dot ABI it's gonna give us the ABI but that is the ABI encoded in the ABI format we need it in JSON format so we can do use the JSON dot string if I token dot ABI and that's gonna give us the JSON encoded format and select everything from the square bracket all the way to the square bracket at the end. And copy. Go to abi.hashx.org. Paste in the ABI right here. Parse. And you can see right here it automatically fetched our constructor arguments. So we need to uh, obtain our name, symbol, and our initial supply that we used for the smart contract. So we go back to our smart contract and in this one we go to the migrations file and you can see right here here's our token the cryptos coin 
So the name is the cryptoist coin, symbol is TCC, and this amount. So go back to our cryptoist coin TCC and that. So this right here should be our constructor arguments. Yeah, even encoded. So we're gonna leave that there and we're gonna go to BSC Testnet Explorer and we're gonna verify our contract. So we'll go back and let's get our token address. So token address. Copy that. Go to testnet.bscscan.com. Enter your address right here for the contract that you want to verify and click on contract and then verify and publish so what you want to do is you got to get the compiler type we're going to do a solidity single file oh yeah we need to go back here and I'm going to open up a new terminal and we got to flatten all our contracts into a single file contract it's easier to verify it this way so open up terminal and go into your root directory and we're gonna use truffle flattener if you do not have it already type in npm or yarn add um, with a dash D for develop uh, dev that's you know more for project reasons so uh, you can just do npm install dev and truffle flattener I already have mine so I'm gonna cancel that uh, you can you can omit the dot dash dash dev and just uh, install it for the project alright so now that we're in here we're gonna make a new folder called flattened and then we're gonna run npx truffle flattener now let me make sure I got it right here I don't have it so give that a second to install And now run npx truffle flattener contracts. And this is going to be the file that you want to flatten into a single file. What I mean by flatten is if you go to our contract, all these imports right here, when we verify a contract, we can't be using imports like that. We can. But uh, it requires more work by going to multi-part files and whatnot. Um, so we're going to flatten them. It, what it does is take all these in the right order and it puts it into a single file. Alright. So if we just run ran this right now, it's just going to spit it out into a terminal. So we need to port it over to our flattened folder. Run that it might give us some warnings that's fine so now go in our flatten and you can see right here this uh, flatten file just control a to copy it all and we need our compiler version and our license type um, if you are doing a older open Zeppelin files you're not gonna need the our older uh, compiler you're not gonna need the open source um, SPDX license identifier which we're not going to go over but if we go to our truffle config scroll down to the bottom to the version that's the version number we used so 055 and just I'm going to 
don't leave it at no license. And if you've used optimization, optimization in the settings right here, this is where you have to enter the information, but I didn't use it. So we're just gonna paste our flattened smart contract into this section. And with some contracts, BSC scan actually started fetching our ABI coded arguments. So sometimes you may be okay, but with more complicated contracts, it's not going to do that. So this is great for that. We're gonna copy this and post, paste that in there and see if it works anyways. So if you used any you know libraries, uh, like you, if you deployed Safe Math as its own contract and you use that as a library, here's where you need to enter library addresses and such. But we didn't do that in my previous videos. Verify and publish. And there we go. Like I said. If you guys enjoy any of my videos, if anything has ever helped you, please make sure you smash that subscribe button right now before you leave this video. It really helps me out. It really boosts my confidence into doing more videos. And make sure you share. Help with, Let's get this channel out there, guys, so I can put out more effort to you know, making the videos good for you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. Leave a comment. Let me know what I can do to improve. And I'll talk to you guys later.